UConn, a 6-5 winner over Northeastern. Five runs in the eighth with two outs. As Huskies able to get it done as we're here with head coach Jim Penders. Coach, this place just plays for crazy games. I feel two years ago we were saying the same thing. Were you guys able to come back there in the eighth inning? Uh, talk a little bit about the eighth inning. This game just had everything great plays defensively yeah. and then hitting there in the eighth. On both sides. I mean, it's something about when the something cosmic when the Huskies and Huskies get together, and especially here in Brookline. Um, it seems to be crazy games, a lot of late finishes, a lot of crazy finishes. Um, didn't look like we were going to score a run for eternity there. That's what the feeling was. I mean, it was just, and then Chris Winkle you know, finds a way after two really good at-bats, Troy Stefanski, two out walk, three two count, and then Michael Woodworth with a heck of an at-bat, you know, grinding and finding a way to, to loop one in over second base. But Chris Winkle gets down two strikes pretty quickly and then puts a great swing on it. And, uh, but, you know, very proud of our fight. Um, we got a bunch of fighters. So that's, you know, the opening weekend. And that, that played true today. That's a veteran ball club that we just beat on their home field. And they're very talented, very well coached. So we've got a lot of respect for them. And, you know, that's the only complaint I had today was did we, you know, did anybody have you know, a couple moments of thinking the game was won, you know, in the eighth inning? Because we didn't play our sharpest on defense, certainly, in the eighth inning. Um, so you got to learn from that. We're fortunate to get out of here with a W, you know, not playing great. But Connor Moriarty did make a great play to, to keep that, uh, to keep McCon McConnell's uh, uh, would be RBI, you know, keep him at one, not throw it across, knowing that he had it beat. And then Isaac Feldstein finished in the inning with a, a heck of a sliding catch. So there were two good defensive plays, but they might not have ha even had to happen if we, did, if we made a couple plays before that. How about early in the ball game, John Topa leaping grab? It could have been 6-1 yeah. Northeastern robbing a grand slam. Yeah, right up against the wall. Would have liked to have seen him use his hand to find the wall. He got up just enough, but he made a great play. I can't complain. He made it. You know, he made the catch. That's the bottom line. Um, it wasn't technically correct. So perfection is you know, preparation he didn't quite do what we wanted him to do but he made it at the end of the day he makes a catch and it's a game saving catch too I mean, there, there are a million plays like that I mean, the four six three i think to end the seven to, in the seventh um I, has charlie mcconnell been doubled up all year i mean I, it was it took a great play to do it with, uh, with our middles turning it very quickly and uh, so a lot of good baseball all over the place um I don't think anybody could have come here and said, boy, I wasn't entertained today. It was a very entertaining baseball game. How does this help you going into a huge series against Houston? Well, anytime you can put one in the left column, it helps. But uh, I think the guys should feel confident. You know, they'd be the really, this, this team could be in our conference. There's no doubt about it. I and mean, that's a conference, our conference caliber ball club. And, um, uh, so it's, it's good preparation. I'm glad to have the day of, of work tomorrow, a little, a little uh, practice in, in the morning, and then getting out to some high school games in the afternoon. Uh, we need a day, and then, uh, and then Houston's going to come at us with everything they got, and we're going to get a great team on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. So uh, hopefully we can, you know, build off of this and, and continue the momentum. And quickly, Coach, uh, 22 road wins sets your program record. Uh, Just uh, able to get that done today as well. Well, it's you know what, that's good that these guys can hang their hat on that. Um, the fact that they were able to accomplish that because they really have they've been uh, an incredibly resilient group. You know, they've, they've battled. Uh, you know, they've battled injuries, they've battled uh, broken down buses, they've battled uh, missed flights, you know, long lay the longest layovers we've ever had, probably our worst flight schedule we've ever had, um, not just from a uh, from being gone so much, but uh, you know, you've been on them. I mean, we've, we've got the craziest layovers, and it feels like we're going to LAX when we're going to Cincinnati, and it makes no sense, but we've, we've been able to do it and, um, and, and set a record doing it, so... Um, I'd like to not have that kind of travel in the future, but uh, even today, it would take us two hours and five minutes mm -hmm. to get up here. He set a record going to Brookline today for length of uh, trip. Hopefully, it'll take us less than six to get home. Thanks, Coach. Thanks, Chris.